And uh, we gotta be John Mayer. Put the mics right up on our lips. Okay, that's what I tell people. <laughs> the body is a wonderland, whatever. Lansing Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One, five, one, one, Zulu. Weather, wind, two, nine, zero, half, three. Visibility, one, zero, light, rain. 1,400 scattered, 3,000 scattered ceiling, 1, 1,000 overcast temperature, 1, 9 Celsius, 2.1 feet altimeter, 3, 0, 0, 3. Hey everyone, welcome back to Between Layers Aviation, and it's a little bit of an overcast, rainy day, but I'm here with my friend Sarah and Beth. Uh, Sarah's from Bose. She's actually supplied us with these awesome Bose headsets today for our flight. And we're going to be making a, a flight to Portage, Wisconsin today to go to a pancake breakfast flight. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll go low, see what happens, but it's supposed to be better weather as we go north and um, get some good breakfast and see some planes. You guys are ready? We are. Awesome. All right, so we're going to take runway 27 which will put us going straight west and basically go around the back side as, as we were talking about earlier, the back side of Midway and O'Hare um, on our way up. How often do you manage to get up? I try to go every week, but it's usually more like every other week. Lansing traffic twin Cessna 466 back departing runway 27 headed to the west, Lansing. Clear left, clear right. Okay, here we go. Airspeed's live. Ninety. Ninety-five. One hundred. One hundred five. We rotate. Brakes gear up. I wonder if those people underneath us even notice planes going by anymore. Yeah, who knows. Chicago Approach, Twin Cessna, 466 Quebec. Is that 466 Quebec? Yeah, 466 Quebec. We are just off uh, Lansing. I'd like to pick up flight following with you today. We could, our type of aircraft is the Cessna 310. And uh, our route is uh, Lewis and then up to Portage, Wisconsin. And number uh, 66 Quebec, Squawk 5174, identity identifier for uh, the destination. 5174 ident and destination is Charlie 4766 Quebec.
Dover at 6, expect thanks for the contact. About 5 miles north west of Lansing at 2100, maintaining VFR outside class B airspace. And the midway altimeter is 3004, and uh, when you get north of the class B, what do you want to cruise at? 3004, maintain clear at class Charlie, and uh, we'll keep cruising at 2000 for now. We're just uh, keeping out of the clouds and weather here. 6 6 back. All right, sir, and yeah, maintain VFR outside class B airspace, class Bravo. Okay, maintaining outside, uh, VFR is like Bravo, 6 6 back. Cool, so we're basically talking to ATC now. Uh, I want to do that because I want them, A, to know where we are. I want them to tell us where other planes are. And if for some reason we got to go instrument, we're talking to them already and they'll help us out with that. So. Chicago departure, Southwest 34, 18, right turn to uh, heading up 130, 1.9, climb 3000. Southwest 3418, Chicago departure, radar contact, turn right heading to zero. Everyone good? Everyone comfy? Yeah. Cool. Okay, right turn 200 up to 4000, Southwest 3418. And everyone 66, six, Quebec, contact your first 119.35, have a nice flight. 119.35, 66, six, Quebec, have a good one. Maintain 2500 until 7 Sun Old Weather, cleared ILS, runway 48 approach. 2500 until established, cleared the ILS, 4 right, Porter 3 so. Hey, Chicago Approach, Twin Cessna 466, Quebec with you now, 2000. November 466, Quebec, Chicago Approach, Midway Altimeter 3004. 3004, 66, Quebec. Order 387, contact tower at Sitco 135.2. Tower at Sitco 35.2.4.2. November 1, Kilo, turn right, direct to Sitco. What was your favorite flight that you've ever had, either because it was interesting or unusual or...? Uh, my favorite? That's a tough question. Favorite today? Yeah, I, I've done a, like I did a flight last summer with some friends. We went down to, uh, there's this pilot shop on an airfield called Sporties. And uh, we climbed anywhere up to like, I think we're up to 10,000 feet, 11,000 feet at one point. And just kind of going through thund around thunderstorms, but you see the big cumulonimbus uh, buildups. Yeah. And just kind of just, you know, you're on top, you see these big puffy things, you're cruising around them. It's, Pretty similar uh, kind of approach to what we're doing today, but a very different uh, Again? look at the end of the day. 2437 Roger, uh, contact yeah. base tower 120.9er. How much of the year can you fly? How much what? Of the year. You can fly all year. I mean, but do you? Yeah, I fly all year. Yeah? Yeah. Year round. That's awesome. I wasn't sure whether there was like a period of time in the winter where it was maybe better to not fly small planes. You know, there's uh, there's a lot of people who are afraid of flying in the winter because just snow and icing and whatnot. But you actually get a lot of days where it's like clear and right. and if you're oh. instrument rated too and you get through the clouds, you're like, give me the suntan oil. <laughs> like it's right. so it's sunny on top, you know. I mean, and if you go high enough, you probably have icing issues. Any, I mean, it gets cold. Icing is mainly to do with moisture, right? Right. Clouds, so you have to, if you're going through clouds in the winter, that's where it, there's an icing issue. Now, yes, at, in the summer, like the freezing level is at 12,000 feet right now. So if you're a, you know, airliner again, or even a, a turbocharged plane like that, uh, like similar to this, November, you do have to think about now. icing. I'll, I'll get you directly. But it's not like flying in the summer gets you away from thinking about that. Right. So you might right. as well. Take advantage of the winter too, I guess then. Right. How high can this plane go? Uh, this plane can go up to, I think the service ceiling on it is like 18,000. November 100, Julie, Charlie, Chicago Approach, Quebec is current expect. You need uh, oxygen at that point though. Oh, yeah, What's that? You need oxygen at that point. You need oxygen, yes. You need, uh, pilot command needs oxygen uh, when you're 30 minutes or more above 12,000. I like these headphones there. I mean, not that you made them, but you know. Clearly, I was responsible for all of it. <laughs> all of it, of course. Every bit. It's really fun to use them not in the reverb room. Have you put these on before, used them before? In the reverb room. Okay. Oh, no, that's not true. Actually, um, on some helicopter flights, too. We did gotcha. a helicopter uh, tour in Hawaii that oh, had... Oh, cool. And I was like, oh, very nice choice of headsets. Yeah. Great 
time we travel, Sarah's always like, look, there's bows! Like, she's got eagle eye when even they're hidden in things. <laughs> well, I look. I just look, I always look to see what's installed. Professional just, curiosity. Yeah, occupational hazard. Just start looking. I was very impressed that there was bows in the Vatican. Couldn't take pictures in the Sistine Chapel, though. Hey, Chicago 6-6, six, six, go back. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to climb up to 3,500 here, uh, just to get above some clouds here ahead of us. November 466, Quebec, Roger, maintain VFR outside the Bravo. O'Hare is on east flow, so the direction that you're headed, there's going to be multiple deaths, 4 and 5,000 going into O'Hare. Okay, we'll try 3,000 here first and uh, let you know if we need, we need to go higher. So we're clearly talking to some sort of local control. Is there then sort of like, how do they divvy it up? Is it like small planes, jetliners? Is it airport? By area, they divvy it up area and altitude. So when ATC could be controlling anything from something the size of us to a full jet, yep. just as long as they're in that area. Yep. Uh, we're going to deviate here. Uh, well, hold on, actually. I see a window. Fire Saint 40, contact tower 135.2. Okay. Approach Warrior 75232 with you, level at 2700. November 75232, Sky Approach, Medi Altimeter 3002. 3002, Warrior 233. November 8318, November, contact Rockford Approach 121.0. So which one is this? That's DuPage Airport. West Chicago. Uh, so this is St. Charles right here, where the river is. Fox River. 466, Quebec traffic departing DuPage, 1 o'clock and 3 miles, will be turning southwest bound here. And yeah, we're looking 66 six, Quebec. Uh, number 66 six, Quebec, you're getting into the mix of O'Hare stuff now, so you're going to start seeing multiple deaths at 4,000 and 5,000 feet. Okay, uh, we'll go, keep looking for them here, 66 six, Quebec. It, is it important for planes to be... Okay, we uh, see that ahead of us here. We may kind of deviate to the right uh, ahead. 6 6 Quebec. Okay. Sorry, say that again. November 7 5 Please have to be used regularly. Just to keep the healthy, so to say? Yeah, yeah. Roger, 2 3 2. We're going to climb for 3,000, if that's all right. 332, 3,000, or altitude, your discretion. There's a big boy. Bravo, yeah. And you can be at 3,000 and go through to Page's Delta. Roger. 232. November 19970, proceed direct to Cell Airport. This is an angle you never get to see on a oh. jet. Yeah. So here should be like kind of right behind the right November wing. Number 232, traffic, 1 o'clock in, 2 miles eastbound, Boeing 737. Roger, I have eyes on traffic. Two, three, you know two. what highway is below us? November 6, 6, Quebec traffic, 1 o'clock, 4 miles. They'll be turning eastbound, currently southbound, Embraer. Uh, we're looking 6, 6, Quebec. AC 3989, turn left to Mikey. Do you ever go to the big uh, convention, for lack of a better term in my brain, at Oshkosh? Uh, the air show, the fly-in? Yeah. I haven't been to Oshkosh, actually. I'm probably going to go up this summer for the first time. Um, it's probably one of those things I won't fly up there, but I'll drive up there just because it's so close. Flying's like a mess, you know, because everybody's going Wants to go. Zero, Julie, Charlie, I said you can four, drive. Zero. Yeah. Thank you, zero, four, zero, zero, Julia, Charlie. So um, you can see this precip here because yeah. it's like these dark streaks, right? This kind of wall. And then that's kind of correlating what we're seeing on the radar right. here. And there's like sort of our window. Yep. And there's a little bit over here on the right, too. Chicago departure, radar contact, climb 18 to 1, 5,000. 715, 15, 5, down 4, 41, 14. EC 3989, connect to 33.35, good day. 335, we'll see you later, EC 3989. 
Did you meet, talk to, now remember a man named Finn Arnold? Uh, I don't remember him. He might have been in... Not that I was the club without it. Oh, look at all this green. Convoy 4114, turn left to Mikey. Never Mikey, on 4114. Convoy 3641, connect to center, 133.35. 33.35, 36.1. Oh, I like your retro checklist back here. Envoy 3792, climate 9,000. 9,000, Envoy 37. The laminated one, or somewhat laminated. Zero Julie Charlie, turn right heading 050. All right, 050, zero, zero, Julia Charlie. Can't have too Number many checklists. Best traffic 2 o'clock, 4 miles west on a 4,000. Right. Columbia, connect Rockford approach now 121.0. Okay, we're looking for the traffic and over to Rockford at 121.0, 66 back. Rockford approach, Twin Cessna 466 Quebec with you now, 3000. Twin Cessna 466 Quebec, Rockford approach, Rockford ultimate 3007, say destination. 3007 destination is Portage, uh, Charlie 47, 66 Quebec. Roger that. I think he said Roger that. We'll find out. Pause him again. So we've crossed through three different air traffic controls. Uh, yeah, so we've crossed through two of Chicago. One, now we're talking to Rockford, Illinois, where the Rockford files are cool, right? Um, and then we'll probably go over to Madison or Milwaukee uh, next. And look at this, we're on the other side of the storm. I know, it's great. Yeah, through that. And uh, no, there's nothing now. Back on course. So let's go to flight plan. Direct, enter, enter. Oh, we're already on track. Boom. All right, so Sarah is my friend from Bose, as I mentioned earlier. And way back in the day, I was a lowly intern at Bose, working in their research group, essentially, there with her. Um, but yeah, Sarah and I have been in touch, and she's always traveling cool places. But like, what are you doing at Bose now? Like, what's, what's exciting and what's cool? Oh, what's exciting? Uh, I've been learning how to do acoustic modeling of headsets. Really? Actually. Okay, cool. It's a completely different change because three, four years ago, I was doing all this work for the professional systems division, which is like the big stuff, the stuff that goes yeah, in stadiums, yeah. arenas. So, big meters, you know, three quarters of a meter. Yeah. And now I'm modeling earbuds. And I think, oh, that's not, that model's gonna have too many elements. It's gonna take too long to run. And then I'm like, oh wait. It's like a centimeter Here. across. <laughs> I can I can put all the elements I want in it. And the model's gonna run really nice. fast. Nice. Yeah. No. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of st cool stuff, stuff coming coming down the pike. Cool. I mean, we're always trying to make the noise canceling better. And you're wearing the Bose. Plug. I'm wearing Bose frames. Bose frames. Our new audio. Yeah. I just tried glasses. them out on the ground, and they're pretty pretty awesome. I've been trying prototypes on and off for like, I don't know, a year or two of sunglasses and of other form factors. Uh -huh. And so I knew I'd like them. But there's a difference between getting to play with them for three minutes and owning them. I love these things. I really did not think that I would love them as much as I do. <laughs> They're so much fun. So I feel very Bose decked out today with my yeah, you're wearing sunglasses, all the gear. headphones. 
Yeah, so acoustic modeling. One eight November State Flight Conditions. Cool. It's a, it is a, it's a lot uh, of fun. We are well, it must be fun for you to like get up in a plane like this and try on your product that you're you know you're helping to support oh, and yeah. work on. And um, I just like small planes. And you like small planes, so that's good too. Yeah, the last time I was up in a small plane in this part of the woods was probably, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago. My uncle used to fly yeah. a four-seater Cessna. Cool. And he took us up around Milwaukee. I don't remember what airport he flew out of at the time, but I loved it. But it was a really long time ago. So it's a, it's a delight. Well, this should yeah. be a fun, uh, you know, for you, if you like aviation, which sounds like, you know, you do have a little bit of interest in it, because we're going to this fly-in in Portage, Wisconsin. So basically, there'll be a bunch of other planes that fly in, and we do a, a bit of a pancake, they do a pancake breakfast. Um, so you basically get to eat, you know, a bunch of pancakes and look at planes and talk to pilots. Sounds and, awesome. Uh, should be fun. So we're only about 22 minutes away, actually. Oh, there's a dead bee here that's uh, <laughs> just hanging out. Yeah. Great, awesome. Yeah, we'll just put that there and take care of that later. Like you do. Medicine approach, 0589 to Romeo, 6000. I've forgotten how much I like listening to the ATC. Yeah, United doesn't offer it that much anymore, only on very few flights. Yeah, there aren't many that you can tune in anymore. I used to listen to it all the time. Uh. Fly, fly, uh, geek website, but fun is liveatc.net. <laughs> you can get streams of all kinds of different uh, cool. controllers or towers and airports, whatever. Uh, so you can, you know, have it on your Bose frames while you're working. Archer one three Bravo, turn right. Somehow it only zero, appeals when stretch. I'm on a plane. Ah. I wonder Whatever if there's highways. Alright, Sarah, you... well, I've just realized we have like seven minutes to go. Do you want to fly a little bit? Sure. Alright, so flight controls are yours. Yeah, flight controls are mine. Flight controls are yours. And all we want to do is keep, keep it going straight and level here. So this plane, it's once it's trimmed out like it is, this little baby touches here. You now we'll turn it left. And I'll do your discretion. Doesn't take much, does it? No. So it's more sensitive than I thought it would be. Yeah. Not that I had a lot of assumptions. But, but we did the ultralight. And we're looking 66 six, back. Madison approach, Cessna 3 Buffalo and Mac Echo, so he's at 4,500 with Zulu. So right now, you're slightly nosed down, because you can see we're losing altitude a little bit. So there's a little bit of back pressure. There you go. And then this is going to lag whatever you do, so be mindful of overcorrecting a little bit. But now we're climbing. <laughs> Probably one of the hardest parts to learn, I bet. Yeah, yeah. And just also imagine doing this when you don't have any horizon, so you're uh, in the clouds. So I'm looking at like these three instruments back and forth, like in a, you know, kind of cross-checking them. There's four instruments, I should say. Dr. 60, sir, do you want to talk to Monkey Approach? That's fine, I can go over to Milwaukee. Please give me the frequency. Dr. Standby. All right, a little bit left turn now. Your wings are not level. There we go. departure radar contact. Turn left heading one two zero. Climb maintain one zero thousand. So we're tracking three three six. We want to go to three three three. So we need to go to left turn a little bit. So those two match up. No factor. Thanks, six six back. Madison, uh, good morning, Wisconsin 3880. All right. 10,000, we have Zulu. Wisconsin 36, Madison, approach. Good morning, runway 18. Looks like good morning, Wisconsin 3880. It's similar to the, this is going to lag, you know, what yeah, you're I, doing. I've just figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of going like this right now, Yes, right? I am. 10,000, <laughs> Thank you. Bar. Uh, 
Archer, AC 620 is over to Milwaukee approach 127.0. Archer 620, contact Milwaukee approach 127.0. Well, that nose down just a touch right there, perfect. Then you can look outside and you look at those big tip tanks and you can tell if you're on left and right if you're level or not. That's another good reference. Right. We're pretty good right now, yeah. 66 back up due to your discretion and radar service is terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change prepares to be one in the pattern at Portage. Okay, Squawk VFR, due to our discretion. Thanks for your help. Have a good one. 66 we're back. Do you know what those buildings with the red roofs right in front of us are? Um, I do not, but it's probably some kind of farm. I don't know what. Portage traffic twin Cessna 466 Quebec is 12 to the south, the inbound for landing portage. My plane, flight controls are mine. Flight controls are yours. And they're mine again. Thank uh, you. Good job. Unreadable. Uh, that was mildly uh, stressful. Uh, <laughs> fun. <laughs> 45 is up with that it? Yeah, that is it. At Port of Traffic, Twin Cessna, 466 back. We're actually going to be flying over the field at 1800 and into the left downwind from a 36 portage. Scott uh, County dropping 4 4 November left stage. Thanks for coming, have a good flight. Okay, thank you very much, have a good day. Yeah, good eye, thanks. Scott County driving. Just remember that was one of the hardest parts about the flight simulator. Yeah. Portage Program. traffic, just Princess on 466 specs, flying over the field, uh, down or left downwind runway 36 portage, when we see the departing traffic. And uh, traffic joining the down with a twin star in front of you. Uh, we're going to do a low pass over Portage. You're just uh, entering the base now. All right, copy 6-6 six, six back. Portage, twin star, left base, 3-6 for a low pass, Portage. And hey, we got the twin star in sight, 6-6 uh, six, six back center, and left down with a 3-6, Portage. Uh, he's going to buzz everybody. Portage traffic, we can end 3-9 and 3-7. Did you part of the pattern? I see him. Seven the ground. I do not have the twin star in sight. Oh, yes, I do. I'll take off before he lands. Okay, very good. Thanks for coming. Have a good flight. Thank you. Have a good day. 267. Portage traffic twin says uh, 466 specs left downwind opposite the twin star portage for 36. Portage traffic twin star short final 36 portage. Here in transition. One, two, three greens. And Portage traffic twin Cessna four six six back turning left base from my three six Portage. Portage traffic Cherokee two six seven will make left turn outbound to the west Portage. Uh. <laughs> okay. Four four November turning Portage traffic twin says no four six six back turning left to final runway three six portage. Three greens. Traffic, 4-4 November, turning downwind from Crossing, from 2-0, 7-7. 
Portage traffic twin Cessna 466 Quebec, one mile final runway 36 Portage. Three grains. Portage traffic uh, twin star joining the left down one for uh, one more low pass Portage. Twin star, is that going to be a high speed? Uh, yes, sir. Very good. Three greens. About the Lance, are you about ready to roll? Uh, we are, but we got to wait for this taxi back now, so we can wait after this uh, Diamond does this quick pass, we'll take off. Um, could we have the uh, the 310 hold up on the end? Yeah, I can hold on the end for uh, uh, Portage here on 36. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Uh, Twin Stars on. Uh, we're doing a low approach for uh, 36 short, or doing a short approach right now, and uh, thanks for some photographers down there. No worries. Well, thanks for joining us again on this flight between layers aviation. Ryan here with Sarah and Beth. Great passengers, having a good time today. Uh, some weather, got around it. Sunshine now in Wisconsin, so we're gonna go have some fun with some pancakes and planes. Take care. See you next time. So Beth, flight control to yours. Flight controls are mine. Okay, flight control to yours. All right, you're gonna have a bit more of a challenge because we've got some bumps. And uh, oh. I'll do it with you here. Don't do death grip, because that'll just, <laughs> okay. just try to like kind of use like, a couple fingers here. All right, okay. All right, I'm bolt, and I'll kind of, I'll, I'll be right here behind you. Okay. And then look at your wings, look right of the tank, look at the left one, are you level? No. Okay, so a little bit left, right? Okay. There we go. Oh, and now I'm off my... That's all right. And then we'll just kind of a little bit left. All right, and level back out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, those are a little bit more exciting when, yeah. <laughs> when you feel like you're the one uh, driving. I mean, flying. Well, yeah, I'm I know what it is. I think I'm going to pass that back to you. Okay, flight controls are mine. Flight controls are yours. Great.